everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the with feature that we have available in VBA, which predominantly helps save time with our coding, especially when we're making a reference to a particular range, sheet or any particular object even, and we want to make a number of changes to that. And it allows us to do these changes without having to multiply or refer to this particular range of multiple times. So the best way to do that is to add some code and we'll step straight into it. So sub, um, and we'll call this using uh, using with, like that. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to define our sheet name. So we, we say we want to work with say sheet number one. And let's say we have a multiple number of sheets on here just to make this a bit more applicable. So the first thing we do is we obviously we define our sheet. So we call it sheet one as worksheet. And we'll set sheet one equals to sheets. And you guessed it, it's going to be sheet one. Okay, so we've got that. So let's say we now wanted to update a few different rate values uh, throughout this sheet. So if you wanted to update the value in um, obviously cell A1, we would have to do sheet, and I haven't defined my sheet one here correctly, so let's put sheet one, sheet one dot range uh, A1 uh, dot value equals, um, let's say Monday, we'll, go, we'll stick with days of the week here. And then if we now wanted to update, um, say another cell within the sheet, and we wanted like say row two to be a different value, we'd have to again refer to sheet one. So we'd have to go sheet one dot range, uh, and this time a two dot value equals Tuesday, and so on and so forth. So we'd have to keep going through and referring to all these different uh, ranges. And let's just do one more, just so we've got a bit more in there. Sheet one range a three, and we'll call this one Wednesday. Okay, so if we were to run this code, as expected, you can see it's populated all three of those cells uh, to the days of the week, or those three days of the week, shall I say. So for each one, we've obviously had to keep going back and defining obviously what sheet name is, so the full string of all this information here. Well, we can instead use with what allows us to get rid of this first part here. So when we use with, um, what we're gonna do is we literally put with, and okay, with what do we want to do something? So for us, we're gonna say sheet one, and then when we hit enter, you can see that the width has turned blue and it allows us to now add some code. So I'm just gonna tab into this. And then what this allows us to do is just exclude this first reference here because everything we do within this width statement is obviously gonna be within, shall I say, the, the sheet one reference or sheet one we've got here. So what I can now do is go dot range, open brackets, uh, A1, oh, word push there, um, dot value equals Monday, or let's go uh, Thursday, and then we can copy this down as well. So we'll go dot range uh, a, a two dot value equals Friday, and lastly dot range uh, a three dot value equals Saturday. And then all we need to do at the end here, once we're finished, is go end with and that is the end of the statement. So we don't need any of this code here at all. We can delete all that, and you can see it looks a lot more tidier already because we've got the with statement here, which says, uh, with this sheet one, we want to do all these amendments within that sheet, and obviously once we've done those, we can end the with. And this time we'll hit F5, or we'll clear these data first. Let's go F5, and you can see it's now updated for us as well. So with gives us the ability to, well, most importantly, just tidy up our code and make a lot better reference uh, to the values that we need to, up, or the ranges we need to update within that particular sheet. Uh, a more specific use of using with, if we get rid of this, could be when we're trying to make updates to a particular cell. So let's say we actually want to change some of the font and the values within one of these cells. Let me just remove this all together. So let's say we want to be more specific, and we want to be specific with cell A1. So let's say we want to put into here, and let's just put the value so we can see that it's changed. So let's say we want to go sheet one dot range A1. So everything we're gonna do is gonna be obviously a change to this cell here. So the first thing we might want to do is obviously change the value. So we're able to go dot value equals uh, Tuesday. 
The next thing we might want to do, obviously, on this cell is maybe change the font color. So we could go dot font dot color uh, equals uh, VB blue. And we won't go into too much detail, obviously, different colors, but in short, you can obviously use references like this, or you can use the actual color reference code or the palette code. I can't think what the terminology is called, but you may have seen it's like the hex number, what's got, it starts with like a hashtag, and it's a more number reference or number and letter reference to the color in particular. You can use either one of those, but for this example, I'll stick with that color of blue here using VB blue. And the last thing you might want to do is go dot font, and let's say uh, bold, so you might want to make the text bold, um, equals true. So for that, for the bold aspect, it's either a true or false, simple for us. So this is probably a more better example of when we'd want to use with. We want to make all these changes here, but rather than having to keep typing out sheet one dot range a1, and then obviously dot value, or sheet one range a1 dot font color, rather than keep repetitively typing out this first bit we've got highlighted here, we can achieve the same, and obviously in a lot more tidier manner, using the with statement. So if I was to run this now, you can see how the value's updated, the colors changed, and the font is now gone to bold. Uh, we can also go maybe BB green, I think that'll work, and then run this, and you can see that's now updated. Alternatively, if we wanted to change this as well, we could go to Wednesday, VB, uh, let's change it to now red, and obviously we'll keep it bold. So you can see that that's a really easy way uh, and sort of nice concise way to reference a particular range and make multiple updates with that without having to repeat yourself in terms of the script. So that video I think was going to be a bit shorter than normal, um, but obviously the topic we were looking at was quite concise. Um, as always, I appreciate I keep repeating myself on this, and I refer to when we'll be looking at more advanced um, processes in the future. Uh, I thought it'd be good just to give a dedicated video to this particular topic, just so I can obviously, one, introduce you to how it works, and it also gives you the opportunity to now play around with this, and you might even find uses for just this basic functionality already. Uh, obviously, it works really well if you've got a lot of data and you may need to make repetitive changes uh, to that particular one cell, or maybe even a range of cells that you're wanting to do updates to. Uh, and VBA is great for obviously uh, automating those repetitive tasks. So if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a like. Uh, and obviously appreciated by myself, or is greatly appreciated by myself, uh, as obviously it allows me to see the videos that you are one enjoying and would like to see more of. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel and also make sure you hit that bell notification button. That way you're notified of all of our future videos as soon as they come out. So lastly, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.